In this video, we're going to go over how to find the quartiles and how to create a box and whisper plot on a graphing calculator. So we're assuming that you've already entered your list, but if you want to enter one or review the list that you have, press the stat button and here go to edit to enter in your lists. Now I have two lists entered here, list one right, and list two. And I want to find out the quartiles and I want to see a box and whisper plot of both of these lists. So what do I do? Well the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit second and then up here on the top I see the stat plot. Hit that. And what I want to do is plot my statistics, plot my data. So here notice this plot one off. I'm going to hit enter. And I want to change that. I want to turn this plot on. So we'll go to the left, hit on, Scroll down, there are six types of available graphs right here. I'm concerned with the box plots, box and whisper, I guess, plot. Here, this one deals with the situation when you have very extreme values or a few serious outliers in your data. I don't think I have that here, so I'm not going to choose that one. I'm going to choose this box and whisper plot. We'll hit enter. And now it's asking me what list do I want to plot here. Well, I'm going to plot L1 and the frequency is that I only plot one data value for each input. And that's my first plot. Okay, so now I want to go back to second stat and notice that plot is now on. But I also want to plot the other list as well. So here I scroll down to two, hit enter, turn this plot on, choose a box plot, scroll over until I get there. Great. And now I'm going to choose the second list right because I, I didn't want the same list there so I hit second and then two to quickly select select list two keep my frequency to one now if I want to see this graph what I do is I don't hit the graph button I don't hit that what I do hit is the zoom button here so I press zoom oops I'm, but I'm still in this I'll get out of this sorry hit the zoom button and there's lots of different zoom features I could scroll down or I know it's the ninth function on the list, I'll hit 9, and then it goes automatically to it. But let me just go back so you can see the different zoom functions. Quit this, go to zoom, scroll down, right past all this stuff, and there it is, zoom stat. Hit enter, and it shows me the two box and whisper plots. So if I want to look at these to find the quartiles, which is one of the things I'm looking for here, all I have to do is hit trace, right? And by hitting trace, I can actually go through and see the quartiles and the means, right, and the extreme of all this data. So if you look at your calculator, where is that button? Where is the trace? Well, it's right up here next to zoom. And notice it puts me right in the middle here. This is the second quartile or the the median, it tells you down here, right, 41. If I scroll to the left, I get the first quartile. If I scroll up, I get the third quartile. And I can scroll all the way to the maximum. And then if I press down, it goes to the other box plot, right? So I can scroll through these quartiles relatively easily in this function.